Hello, I'm Harlow Robinson, and I will be teaching in the spring for Ollie, a course called Russians in Hollywood, Emigres, Politics, Movies. I've been working in the field of Russian studies for decades now, and you know, it was my own viewing of Dr. Zhivago as a teenager that turned me on to the whole idea of studying Russia and Russian and going there. And I think for many people, movies are such a window into another culture and create interest in that. And it led me to especially think about how images of Russia have been created in American popular culture. Uh, obviously, this is really connected to politics. The Russian Soviet, uh, the Soviet American relationship was absolutely central in America throughout the 20th century, always in the headlines. And Hollywood follows the headlines. And so it's not surprising that many films that came out of Hollywood during the 20th century did deal with Russia in one way or another. And there's another aspect to this story, which I find interesting, is that so many Russian emigres came to Hollywood beginning after the Russian Revolution. Many of them already worked in theater and film. And they came to Hollywood where there were so many jobs happening, the industry was exploding, and they found jobs in a lot of different capacities as actors and directors, producers, composers, and created a very vibrant and rather large Russian emigre community that sort of joined a lot of other emigres who came to uh, Hollywood uh, during this period uh, to work in the film industry, often fleeing communism or Nazism. So. In our course, I think uh, we're going to have fun. We're going to be looking at different films, clips that are representative of these different periods in the Soviet-American relationship. We were allies during World War II, so the films are very positive, actually, about the Soviet Union during that short period. During the Cold War, they become much more negative. These stereotypes of very serious, dour Russians who sweat and smoke too much <laughs> are, are quite dominant in these films, uh, with a few exceptions. So you see comedies, dramas, historical dramas, especially films about the Romanovs and earlier Russian history. So it, it covers quite a gamut of different genres in film history. So my course actually covers film history, but also political history, and also, as I mentioned, a little bit about emigres. And after all, American culture has benefited so much by the emigres who have come here, and in the arts and film, that's particularly true for Russians. So I hope you'll be joining me for this course. Um, I think you'll find it enjoyable, and both, both politically and actually entertaining. Thank you.